Steve Jobs advice for young people who want to be rich About 11 years ago, I announced to my parents and family members that I will not continue with my schooling. They wanted me to have degrees and live a normal life. To me, normal is boring. I wanted an exciting life. I wanted to dare life, try things, make mistakes and fail. I didn't want a life that pay bills. I wanted a life of purpose and to me, I was already getting old. I could no longer endure the boring classrooms. So, I forgo school. In this video, I'll tell you more of that story and I'll share with you the one important advice from Steve Jobs which I believe can change your life forever. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing, Steve Jobs said, don't wait, do something when you're young, when you have nothing to lose. This is probably the most valuable advice Steve Jobs ever gave because if you truly follow this advice, your life cannot be the same. The World of Waiter This last weekend, I and my wife went to spend some time with one of my old friends. As me and my friends were talking, he told me, you see, I didn't forget our last discussion, I'm making my plans. Our last discussion was about his dream of starting his own business and it is a good thing that he's making the plan, right? No, he has been making the same plan for more than one decade. Not just him, my general experience about most people convinces me that the world is filled with the dreamers and waiters. Most people simply do two things, they dream and they wait. Don't wait. Do something when you're young, when you have nothing to lose. Waiting is the worst thing that can happen to you because waiting will keep you poor. But why is waiting a good idea for most people? The only reason I can think of which makes us want to wait is because we think that tomorrow will give us better resources. Well, we are wrong because tomorrow will only make our dreams more difficult to pursue. The Fear of My Age I earlier told you my personal story, how I ran away from school without any degrees. Well, I didn't leave school because I hate school. Though I hate school, I was having a lot of fun in school so I might never have left if not for the fear of my age. I was 21 at that time and my parents still wanted me to get all these degrees that will help me to become a great employee, meaning that I might have to get out of the school walls by age 26 or 27. To me, that was going to be hellfire because by this time, I was already having fear about my age. This fear was informed by the fact that I know it always takes a lot of time to achieve anything worthwhile. Since when I was a teenager, I've always knew that everything worthwhile takes a lot of time. So I knew that if I truly wanted to achieve meaningful success in life, I'll have to start early so that I could invest as many years as possible to my dreams. Not only did I know that I had to start early, I also knew that I had to forego most things that are wasting my time. You see, time is the only true gift of life and it doesn't matter how early you start. As long as you let your time be wasted in little things that don't matter to your dreams, you still not get what you want out of life. Don't wait. Do something when you're young, when you have nothing to lose. The Ignorance and Youthfulness To succeed in life, you need brain and bones. Unfortunately, the young have bones but lack brains while the old have brain but lack bones. By brain, I mean wisdom. By bones, I mean physical strength and time. Most young people lack wisdom about life. Unfortunately, by the time they get such wisdom, they are usually in their late 30s or even mid 40s. Ignorance and youthfulness often go together and one major thing young people often get wrong is that they think they have something to lose. Seriously, this will be funny to you if you are 60. If you are 60 and you meet a 21-year-old man who is afraid of pursuing his dream, you'll wonder what he has to lose. Listen to this, if you are in your 20s, you have nothing to lose, I mean nothing. I was speaking with a group of people some weeks ago and one woman stood up to ask me a question. She wanted to know how anyone could possibly do what I did with my life. I told her, well, I did it when I had nothing to lose. 
I was only 21 when I started out as a full-time entrepreneur. I had no money but I had wisdom and bones. I went around hanging with friends and wearing a shoe for 3 to 4 years. I took all the risk I could ever take and did everything I could possibly dare. Many people were cautioning me. They wanted me to take it easy. They wanted me to calm down. They wanted me to get degrees and get jobs so I could have security. Security? What do you need any security for when you are 23? What do you need security for when you are 27? Now listen to me. If you are still young, you have got nothing to lose, absolutely nothing. The worst that can happen to you is failure. The worst that can happen to you is rejections. The worst that can happen to you is criticism of the people who don't know what you know. Let not the voice of other people kill your dream. Allow not their fears to make you want security. You don't need security. You need success. You don't need security. You need progress. You don't need security. You need solution to your poverty. And for the older people. Now, if you are old, you probably have wasted the most precious time of your life, your 20s. Now, you probably have a family and a lot of bills. But all these are not your biggest problem. Let me tell you your biggest problem. The poison you've eaten. This is what I mean. When we were born, we are usually very powerful individuals. We dream dreams and we believe we can achieve our dreams. However, in our teenage years, we started noticing that the world around us is different. We started hearing people telling us to take life easy. We started hearing people telling us that our dreams are risky and trying them may be the end of our life. In our 20s, we started seeing that the best way to live is to follow the common route. We noticed that certain people in our community simply studied hard, got good grades and good jobs. Since we see these people with new cars and big homes, something in us tells us that it's better to live a normal life than to take risks. Why trying something difficult when we can just obey the societal laws and achieve what society calls success? Now, the older we get, the less we want to try something different or risky. And that's the biggest problem with being old. The problem is not your age. It doesn't matter whether you are 45 or 57. The problem is in your mindset because if you are like most 50 year olds out there, you've probably given up on life. You've probably become normal and you've probably learned how to avoid pains and failures. That's where the problem lies. Don't wait. Do something when you are young, when you have nothing to lose. Here are my last words. If you are young, don't wait till when the weather is perfect because it doesn't make any sense. Tell me, what are you waiting for? Start today with whatever you have, wherever you are and decide never to give up until you achieve your desired life. If you're old, rewire your brain. Vomit all those poisons the society has fed you since you were a teenager. Start seeing a new world. Stop allowing your fear to influence your actions. Dear, pursue and run after your dreams. For everyone watching this video, don't forget that we have a single life and it doesn't matter whether we die at 39 like Martin Luther King Jr or we live till 95 like Mandela. What matters is that we fight for what we believe is ours. Don't wait. Go out and fight hard. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.